This is the new tall spool storage thread carousel. It will store the taller threads up to five and a quarter inches tall. The spacing on this one has five and a half inch spacing between each shelf, allowing for about a five and a quarter tall spool. Most of the spools that I'm familiar with are about five inches, some are shorter, but probably the maximum height you're gonna be able to store is five and a quarter. Because of the height and weight of the tall spools, you cannot go up very high because it becomes unstable or very wide because it becomes unstable. So this one here is the mini 17, 17 inches in diameter. It will hold up to approximately 62 or more spools. This design has 62 placement pins, but on the inner side of the ring, you will find that there is some additional spacing where you may add, drop a, an additional spool here and there. On this model, there are 22 spindles on the bottom, 20 on each shelf, so that gives you a total of 62 storage slots. It does come with the bobbin thread storage up to approximately 90 bobbin threads and all of my carousels now come with the optional holes for wheels so if you'd like to purchase a set of wheels you can do that through when you buy the um, storage facility from me or you can purchase those online um, from amazon this one here I'm going to go ahead and assemble with the wheels to show you how the wheels operate and then we'll assemble the rest and I'll show you how easy it is to put this together. So once you receive your package, you're going to unbox it, you're going to, uh, I suggest laying everything out, you're going to get your, your assembly guide with your list of material, simply follow that along, very easy. The only additional tools you will need will be a three quarter inch wrench, three quarter inch socket. You can get away with two three quarter inch wrenches if you don't have any sockets, but it's easier to get on that bottom nut with a socket. So if you purchase the, the model with the wheels, grab your four wheels. The wheels have the little retainer C-ring in there. And what that does is it helps keep pressure in when you slide it in and you flip it upside down they're not going to fall out so just go ahead and slide in your four wheels you're going to align those up and they push straight down into the pre-drilled holes i'll put a link on the page so if you want to purchase a set of wheels from Amazon, you can do that. And I'll show you which wheels I purchased. So once the wheels are on, you're going to take your center support rod, grab one nut and thread that on approximately two inches. One washer, and then this will get fed through the top side. The top is the side without the recessed hole. So the bottom has the recessed hole for your nut. You're going to place your washer on, followed by another nut. Thread that nut on until it's flush with the bottom of your support rod, and then just flip it over. Lift up on the center rod and tighten down that nut until it's snug. Grab your three quarter inch wrench and your socket and just snug that into place. Now you can set it down on your wheels and now it's very easy to complete your assembly. Grab a washer, slide a washer on top of that nut. Grab your bottom shelf, which is the shelf without the access slot cut in. Slide that down, place a washer, a five and a half inch spacer, followed by another washer, shelf, washer, your spacer, and another washer.
your last shell, washer, spacer, and your very last washer. Take your last threaded nut, thread that on there until it's snug. You can hand tighten that and just allow yourself a little bit of swivel room here to make your shell spin. You can, you can adjust that accordingly. You can do it really loose um, or you can do it kind of so it's firm. Grab your acorn nut that goes on top. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your three quarter wrench, place that on the bottom nut. And then with your top nut, take your ratchet or your uh, other wrench and just keep the bottom one stationary and tighten that top nut down. That will lock those two nuts together, but will still allow you to rotate your shell shells. So now it's simply a matter of loading up everything. With your slots aligned, you also notice that the shells actually have four steel pins in the front. The steel pins are simply to counterbalance the missing area that was cut out for the slot. And it just kind of help keeps it um, you know, on balance. Line your slots up and you can rotate your bottom shell and you can start loading. As I mentioned before, you're on the inside. There is enough room that if you want to drop an extra um, storage spindle or um, spool of thread in there, you got plenty. You can do that. And it looks like you can probably get maybe four additional spools on each shelf. I may redesign it and put a couple alignment pins in there, but right now I'm I'm going to wait for that. Once your bottom's loaded, you can load in all your top, your next shelf, followed by, lastly, your, your very top shelf. If you don't have, um, you want to mismatch, then you can simply load in, you know, some of your short spools of thread. Your bobbin holder just sits right on top, and then you can drop your, your bobbins right there into place. Once you have it loaded, if you purchase the extra set of wheels, then you can simply move it out of, out of your area, or if you have a storage place where you want to store it under, you know, maybe your desk or something like that, and you can always wheel it around. So that's the new version of the large spools. As I mentioned, if you go any wider or any taller, it seems to become a little unbalanced. So for now, um, it simply will hold, this one's designed with 62 pins, but you can add a couple extra ones inside um, that inner, inner ring of alignment pins and get a couple additional slot storage. Um, and then if you want to make a cover, you can drape a dust cover over top. I've, I've had some customers ask about that. Um, if you're interested, I can um, cut another solid shelf off without the slot that you can actually sit down on top and then customize a dust cover that will cover everything. And, and then you will be able to still store your bobbins on top. I'll put the link in the bottom for the wheels if you're interested in buying them from Amazon or you can buy them as a set. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, please contact me. Thank you.